Hey, so... People tend to assume and um, I just kind of want to share some things, some, some ways that I found because I, I'm not... <laughs> a lot of these videos I posted, I've been having them for years already, or a year at least, minimum. I didn't, I wasn't in a hurry to post them up. <coughs> I was um, experiencing and then analyzing and then taking it in. And then as I was doing that, I was learning because I realized how much attention the videos were getting. And the last thing I wanted to do was get more attention, like just get, just get clout for no reason, with no purpose. So I want to just explain that um, when people try to tell me, you should do this, you should do that, most of those people haven't even done that. And that's the, that's the crazy part is that, and you'll be like, what they, usually the people that have your answers or the ones that try to bring down your answers or bring down your, your what you're going after are usually ones that haven't done it. Because if they would, they would understand how difficult it is and really, really help you through it. Not just tell you, hey, you should do that. You, This guy says this and this guy, you know what I mean? So it's understanding also that that is deeper than that. And in these situations it could get really you know, the pressure could go up you get vulnerable you don't know what you're doing they're, they're trying to steal your property and you don't really you're just reacting and what i learned is i learned this the hard way and i learned this not the hard way <laughs> i learned this all this way but the the greatest thing you can do sometimes is just Still, nothing. Stand. Stay there. A lot of people bluff. Because your action is what they're trying to get. It will, you will, because it, they, they want your consent, and your consent is given by your action. And it's kind of a paradox in that sense because your lack of action is an action. So, as I learned like the legal definitions and the processes and I, and I started realizing I, I wasn't doing nothing. I was just taking in information and watching. I was observing. And what I was observing was, wait, these people that are saying they're doing this, that I'm in these groups and the results are they're still getting with their their cars are still getting pounded they're, they're doing all this stuff and they're still getting the the, the they're not winning for the for the most part the ones that i know i mean there's some you, you get a couple that, that that actually come through but the but not the way you think it was the wind usually isn't like the way you thought it was like the golden bag or you know like it, it's very um it's interesting so as i was going through these different um periods of my life as i was um letting things go and and and, and things were happening that were forcing me to to release um i went through i went through this, this situation with the sheriffs many times, many situations. So I have a lot of experience with them to the point where now it's, I don't have these interactions with them anymore. So even though you see them, like I, I don't get these interactions anymore. At some point when you know who you are and you change your vibration, I guess you could say that's the only way I could describe it is they kind of leave you alone. They already know, all right, He's not fun to play with. He don't. He doesn't. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's not playing with us anymore. 
he's not really entertaining it. But but you at the same time, it's because I realized what I was doing was entertaining it. And entertainment at the end of the day is what? It's just a distraction. Amusement. To to distract you. To look at the left hand while the right hand does something. To mislead you, to misguide you. And so when I started learning these words and then I got back to etymology because I, I didn't understand etymology at first until I was learning the other word. Like you start learning the different dictionaries, the, the legal words, the, the legalese, the, um, I guess jargon you could say. And I was able to put the picture together. It completed things that I was like, oh, well, that's why it doesn't work. Because that's what addiction is. And what is etymology? It's a good question. If I can spell it. It's all molecule. So, etymology, facts of origin and development of the word, of a word, Old French etymology. So, etymology is the study of the true sense of the word. Analyze of the word to find its true origin. Neuter of etymos, true, real, actual, etymos. True. So you see the way you're trying to find the spirit of the word. You're going back to 600, 2000 years before even our language was created. English. You know what I mean? Like, like and that, that's kind of how... And it could get really dark, but it could get really light too. Cause, but uh, you start seeing that, that the way they taught you in school, the education was just training you. They were just giving you their diction, their jurisdiction, their dictionary. And diction could be contradiction. So English, the people of England speech um, pertaining to pertaining to angles, the angles, the name of the Germanic groups, the overran the islands five C, but supposedly so called because Angle, the land they inhabited of the Jude land coast, was shaped like a fish hook. Angle. The use of this word in the Middle English was reinforced by Angelo French. Now that's interesting. The Angles, Los Angeles. <laughs> angels are angles. They're angles of light. They're prisms of light. They're prison, a prison of life, prism. Just depends on the angle that the light hits the prism. that you see the hue it's all angles n has become in perhaps through the frequency of ing words of the relative e being a modern language it's also a spin 
imparted to a ball as billiards. A whirl. A whirl. A world. A spinning ball. A week, days, a days. So, as you can see, it all kind of weaves into each other. And understanding this helps you kind of understand what you're dealing with. Because a lot of us don't take the time to read. We just think, well, well, that's not my definition. Okay. Well, can I see your dictionary? Do you have your own dictionary? No? Then what definition are you using from what, like, what, well, the norm, the people, normal. Oh, the layman. The uneducated. Is that what you're trying to say? Because that's what they use. If you're talking about the legal sense. Or are you talking about the infant? The infant. A child. Born. Child. Babe. Babe in arms. A babe in arms. (laughs) A child. Young child. Babe in arms. Infantry, not able to speak. You see, <laughs> and I'm just kind of I'm just going I'm just going with the flow. This is kind of what what I how I um been able to connect things, and it's like oh okay, a child with a child with a child, a child English old uh, infant unborn. Or newly born children. Oh. That's interesting. I would get a re- Where is that coming from? A child. Unborn. Or born. So... That could explain a lot of things right there about what we're seeing in our reality with that. Not that I'm not, and I'm not speaking of, I'm not for or pro. I think, um, I think at the end of the day, the choice, whatever happened, happened for a reason. And um, this world revolves around form. And, and with too much stress, and if you're not prepared, or if you're not in the right mindset, then and you create stress, stress creates, like, literally stress, pressure, stress, creates deformation. And in a world reality of forms, where everything is form, formulated, we, they want to get information. They're trying to get you to preform. Whatever happens, happens for a reason. There's no need to overthink it, overcomplicate it. Hey, there is a reason for it. Now, we move forward. We heal together, we grow. What's children miss? A festival of holy innocence. A festival of holy innocence. Late. Children. ASC that A that this right here I always wonder what that was that means law child mass it commom it com- commemorates the slaughter of children in and around Bethlehem by the order of Herod. Isn't that, that glorified? Commemorates? To 
call it remembrance to bring to remembrance here to the prefix remember remind mindful remember meaning uh, serve as a memento memory okay sounds like um, some crazy stuff child mass the slaughter of children in around Bethlehem but then again a child is a a fetus so would that be considered a fetus parts of the ovary flowering pants which bears the ovaries of mammals organ or of attachment of vertebrate embryo or fetus to the wall of the of the female modern and placenta urine urine cake so called a cake flat cake flat plaques flat And a cake, that's kind of weird. Santa compound after birth, a birth after death, or last will of the father. Opportunity placenta. It's kind of interesting because it is a it's an embryo, right? It's a fetus. So you can say it's a child. So when you're coming to, well, that's, and that's your, when it comes down to it, that's your, um, your, uh, your entity. That's your, um, as above, so below. That's the duality of this world. That's what's going on. <laughs> that's that, that entity that, that we, That's how they attach it to you because it's attached to you and it comes detached after birth, but it was still born and it's a fetus. It's like having a twin. It's interesting. So technically, one could say, wonder what they're doing with the placenta. Maybe that's what the child misses, coming to slaughter of children. Like they're making it really like an actual children, but if you really look in the history, that could simply be the placenta. They could actually still be doing that. Because that's, I mean, that'd be pure, be pure. And that whole thing that, I mean, it could simply just be, <laughs> and I'm trying to make it seem like it's something else. Like they're like making it seem like they're children, like children of the corn. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there because that's a, 
that's just what I got from this right now. So, understanding that that could go like I'm not trying to even go like that, but that that was just interesting. How that see how things like lead into things, and um, you could kind of connect the dots. Um, and not everything is could go that way. That one just went kind of um, <laughs> veered off. <laughs> But that's the cool part about it. Like, you know what I mean? And then you got fi uh, Philo. Like, what does a Philo feel? Like, it's like um, someone that's afraid of love. And you start learning things like this. Like, what is like like loving, fond, Greek philos, dear, loved, Philip, Phil, Philadelphia. You know what I mean? Like, like you start learning that, oh, that's where these words come from. Oh, cool. Oh, that's what. The, what is a name? What is a name? What is a name? Word by which a person or thing is denoted is put down on paper. Denoted down. Note. The meaning of a famous person, a man of distinction. So, does is it you or does it describe you? It just notes you. It just notes you down. Are you the name? Oh, look at by name. By name. That's why you say by and then your name, probably by name. You just by. Oh, wait, hold huh, on, that's cool. Be unstressed by stressed. Near, in, by, during, about, by, around, about, in compounds, often merely intensive source. By, near, by, about. Ah. So to be, it's to be unstressed, just to be. To buy means there's someone... There's two, there's dual. So one and two, basically. Interesting. So when you say by, and then your name, you're saying secondary name, your nickname, your by name. It's all just what you called, your nickname. That's, why I, that's probably where it comes from, like, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Medusa's a jellyfish. <laughs> Check this out. Nickname. Nick name. A mid division eek. Familiar or diminutive. Name, especially when given derision, approach literally in name, old. Surname. Addition name. A name, title, effia, adetsu, baptism, christian, name, sir, above. The word is modeled for English, Angelo, French, or noun. Surname. Also compared to nickname, usually deprived from quality, achievement of place, surnames, passed down, family names. Hence, the word took the sense of a family name, a last name, by late. Fourteenth letter, chemistry. In chemistry, the symbol is for nitrogen. The N is like a... Crazy. It's a Billy, a club. Billy's a club. Crowbar. <laughs> Policeman club. Go get the Billy. Check this out. Show you something I found. 
real quick. What's Ovid? The Roman poet, author of Metamorphosis. What is that? Four plus this others. To change it into a different form, alter, modify, shape, character of. So, but then you under the sun, narcissism. Let's see what that one says. Coined in 1899. That means either divided or created. Pressed with coins. Um, by German psychiatrist Paul Natke. On the comparison such as to from Greek Narcissus. Name of the beautiful youth in mythology. Ovid. Metamorphos. Who fell in love with his own reflection in the spring and was turned into the flower narcissist himself as a figure of self-love is attested uh, used to the word in the letter of but Krishna admired himself as a result of experience lust for his own self he manifested his own nature in the cow herd girls endowed enjoyed them Sometimes erroneously as narcissism. So it's not necessarily bad, but we turn it into kind of because like you should love yourself, but difference between loving yourself and like you should love yourself, I believe, but not in the not by by understanding it and and using others, but not misusing them. And that's where I think narcissism is, is like, to me, it's like, okay, that's kind of, like, you can use people, just don't misuse them. And if you misuse them, just like you misuse your hand, and you, you, you might have grabbed something hot, and then you, you heal it. The same concept, it's consideration. That's kind of where, what I see. Know what I mean? You know what I mean, dog? So yeah, so you kind of just have fun with this. Um, you could see where the how the word transformed and what definitions and how they are they using. What are they really saying? What is all this really saying? And I'll get to that. My theory. I'm I'm, a, I'm trying to because everything I do, as you could tell, is just it's just me expressing free flowing art. Like that's just what I do. I like I'm not trying to trying to um, I'm not trying to educate you. Um, I'm not trying to rub you. I'm not trying to traffic you. <laughs> to rub with the original sense of Italian verbing, touch repeatedly, handle. Vulgar Latin trans <laughs> to rub across. You see that the, the and then like it's no it's like I've been saying it's no. That's what comes with it: commerce, social intercourse. Interchange, like you know, what I mean, you're doing intercourse, you're rubbing in traffic, and you're becoming uh, Hermes, traveler, rogues, giver of good luck, god of secret dealings, conductor of the dead, commerce, markets, and the roads. Like, it's no coincidence that that, that energy is coming with it. Exchange. And when he comes down to it, what's what's the what's the oldest what's the oldest practice, the oldest um profession? Profession? Prostitution. And it's not like I'm not saying it in a bad way. Y'all 
prostitute ourselves, you could say, in some sort of... Indiscriminate sexual intercourse. Indiscriminate sexual intercourse, usually in exchange for money. What's the difference between a prostitute and a constitute? A prostitution and constitution. <laughs> the fuck is the difference? Pro, stature, cause, and... That's what I want to know. Let's take out this word right here. Statue. To stand. I don't know, man. You tell me. The same word. It's like the dictions. Contradiction. Dictionary. Intro, no. Where are the dictions? Dictations, I the dictations. To command, authority, transmit to order, and join, and trust. Order. Body of persons living under religious discipline. Position of state rule, regulation, regulations, order. To give order to arrange in row or rank. Since so set heap opposite probably a fucking free. Adorn to decorate. Ornament, yeah. Adorn, ordinary. Coordinate, back order. It's interesting. The business commence, uh, commerce, sense of written direction. Money order. Interesting. I'm not trying to make this video too long. Maybe I'll do more of these. If you guys want me to do more, then feel free to. Um, you guys want to talk about it? You guys want to make want me to see a couple words, comment, and uh, let's talk about it. Let's chop it up. Let's chop up the words, because that's basically what they are. They're all chopped up. And then, um, remember, who do you serve? Do you serve your family? There's a reason why they break up the family. There's a reason why I, and this is my belief. My knowing, I would say, from my research is if you are to serve your family, because you have to serve somebody, you have to serve something, serve a purpose. 
this is who you serve. Your father and your mother, your gods. Not the image of a father, not your forefathers, not your priest. That they want you to call father. They want to father you all the time when you have and separate your father from the household. There's a reason why that promotion is going on. is because you serve your family. And when you serve your family, you tap into that fucking DNA. That family bond, that ancestry tree, the, the deep, deep connection with your heritage. You heal. When you're serving... You don't, and then when you're serving your family, I, I mean, that's the, that's the answer. That's the clue. That's the answer. That separates you. You don't need, you, 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 you don't need, you could, if everybody in the family started serving the household instead of trying to take something from another place and serve another place and then bring it to the household and then wonder why the household is, is in, not working out, doesn't feel like a home, we're fighting. It's because we're serving Everybody in the household serving something else other than the house, the family. Oh, we need this to survive. We need this. It's like, well, what if we all used all of our and we created a, our castle? We wouldn't need money. Like that's why I trip out. Like you wouldn't need money, because you have you get your gifts. You actually tap. And I'm telling you from my my from experience. There's experience of my. I've had a money and I've experienced and I put myself through a position um, and the universe put me and I just kind of went all right let's go and um, this whole experience of from having all that to not to not using it at all I was able to find solutions that most people couldn't see because they were so attached they're so close they're so attached to something they're like what well, how do the fuck do you like yeah, it's true. Cause it, but it, and it rang so deep because it's true. Because it's like, yeah. Because the truth is, if if I don't value that no more, if that's not if that's not valuable to me, because I don't need anything. Like I don't. I'm not of that world. I don't. I don't need dead people on paper. I don't. I don't need to practice necromancy. I'm not serving that no more. Ooh, they don't like that. They don't like that. Because everybody thinks, and then if you see it, they're, they're, it's all kind of, it's all going back towards that. It's like, you need it to survive. No, you need your family. And you tap into the family, that's, that's the fountain of youth. That's your, that's, and then the deeper you go, the deeper you'll see that we're all together, we're all family. And if you have it tough right now, then, then yeah, here's your chance. You, you have your family. So I'm always going to bring it back to understanding that because you start healing your family and you start serving it and everybody's serving the family. Nobody's, nobody's, everybody has a purpose. They serve a purpose in the family. And then you help develop the purposes. The, the price, the, the, the gift, the currency is the newborn baby. It is a blessing. You have the baby, so you have everything in the family already. If everybody stopped fucking serving every, whatever thing they're serving, because they want it, like like you'll see that you'll grow into what your uniqueness is. Because the reason you don't know your purpose is because you're you're been educated, you've been trained. They pulled you out of the family home. Well, educated to bring up, to train. To train, to pass, like that, to bring up, to rear, educate. They're 
bringing you up to do their bidding. Not because they want what's best for you. Not because they care. Because we're so lost. And if we start doing that, then they, then, they, then we, the government, the reason there's, that we need so much government right now, the reason they're so big is because we're not serving our family no more. We're serving them, so they need to grow, and they're growing. The training of animals. Remember who you're serving. That's why they keep checking you. That's why they keep putting us on checks. Giving us checks. We're chasing checks. What is a check? A call noting one move has placed his opponent, his opponent's king or another major piece in imperial and immediate pearl. The check at a chess. The game of chess checker, checkboard, checkmate, vulgar Latin, seconds from uh, king. Making the principal piece in chess game. See shot checkmate. Generalized sense. Harmful incident or event. Hostile environment. Can I check your ID? We're gonna go get a check. A blank check. Checking accounts, checks and balances. A checkpoint. Stop. Once they check you and you obey, you start, what happens? You, you, lay, you lay down. They laid the law, you lay down. Checkmate. To arrest, to stop, to hold, to restrain, to hold up, to hold up or control by comparison with authority or record. It's, it's seriously that that's what it is keeping you on check check yourself before you wreck yourself male or female personal domestic attendant owing a duty or service Master or Lord, one employed by another and subject to his orders. Servant for soldier. Serving waiting. Public servant attest to Wycliffe, uh, female. Use render line, sl a slave. In render habitual obedience. Ob obedience, habitual. To render habitual obedience to owe allegiance to, even if it's, if it's obedience, habitual obedience. And I understand that it's not gonna, you're not going to get it. Trust me, I, I get it. I'm not. But you could start it now. You grow it from now. You change it now. You you go back to serving family. No one owes you anything in your family. You can't. You can't be indebted to your family. That's why. That's why this whole commerce thing is, is considered fucking inter. What do they call it? Um, social intercourse. Because you're fucking each other. Socially, you're fucking each other. Excuse my language, but that's basically what's happening. I can't gain anything. I can't gain interest from. My my family, because we're serving. The household, everything goes like we should not need anything. You should not have to fight anything alone. You should not have to do anything alone. We should not. You should not lose anything that's right for the family. You're as only as weak as your weakest link. So if if you if somebody owes you something, a debt. Owes you a debt. 
an obligation to pay or render something to another being old neuter for the old so sexual intercourse that of the body with which spouses owed each other sexual intercourse it's only debt that you should be fucking owe is if you guys are fucking that which spouses owe to each other So when I say like that is death, it's worse than death. To loan. That which lent or owning. You own something. A thing furnished or promised or future return. Also a gift, a reward from a superior, a gift of God. Loan's a gift. When you loan something, it's because you're gifting it. That's why it never comes back. Not everything needs to be commerce. Like I said, I didn't mean this for this long, but um, it was pretty interesting. I think it was um, enlightening. I think it was a good session of understanding. And tell me what you think. This is just the etymology. Like I said, this is the, 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 the root, the spirit of it. But the closer, the more we learn about it, the more we gain, the more we start connecting dots. And um, talk about it. The more we could unite on this end instead of trying to divide, we could come together and we create, recreate, we deprogram, and we tap into our family line. And you will literally. Reverse in age. When you start structuring your ba your body back together the way it is, you will live longer. You are not meant to die at fucking 70 years old or whatever young age you, you, we people are dying. There's a lot to do. This is a lot. This is serious. It's not a game. Wage war, a pledge, guarantee, surety, a promise, pledge to meet in battle, a payment of service, I give you a wage. See all these words is just, mm, man. That's why you just gotta just appreciate and understand that you just gotta take ownership. Like we just have been not trained, we've been not studying it, and that's it. And I wish you guys um, do this for yourself. Here's the here's the website. You guys see this? I'll post it. And um, yeah, let's talk about it. We don't always have to use their diction. We don't have to be in their jurisdiction. Let's bring our own. We can even create our own fucking words. We can speak in riddles. Peace, love, wholeness. This is so free. Hit that like if you enjoyed this, if you got something from it. And then um, shoot a comment. Let's talk about it. Subscribe, whatever. Support. Let's support each other. I don't really know. I'm not doing this for any... 
I'm not expecting anything, but I'm, I'm, I embrace everything I get. If you want to support, support. If you don't, just support in some way. Throw comments. There's always ways you can support. Not everything has to be like, just throw your energy in there. Make it good. You know what I mean? One love.